everybody, Brandy here, linking arms with you to get you across the CPTD finish line. Today we are looking at how you can use your CPTD success notebook to capture all of the learning that you're learning along your journey today and next year and even five years down the road. Let me share the why behind this. Your notebook is already organized into the various domain areas. And then under those domain areas, you have all of your chapters and all of your learning. So this is what I use to find things on the web, whether I'm listening to a speaker at a conference and taking notes, listening to a podcast or reading an article, I can capture things right here in my notebook in an organized fashion. Let's talk about how that might work. I don't know about you, but I spend quite a bit of time on the ATD website. I think there's a lot of really great resources. And I came across one today that I'd like to put inside of my notebook. And it's 10 Tips for Learner-Centered Training. Read through this article and found this phenomenal learning aid here. And these are the things that I like to keep inside of my notebook. So let me show you how I do that. First, once I find this, I realize that it's learner-centered training. So I am going to open up my online TD box. I'll press continue reading and then I'm going to do a search for learner centered because I'm not exactly sure what area this is in in my notebook. So I'll go in and I'll type in learner centered and hit enter. Once I do that it's like oh yes Carl Rogers the learner centered instruction. So I open that up and I realize that it is 2.1.3 so that's where I'm going to put this information in my notebook. 2.1.3. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to copy this link so I can share the information. And then I'm going to go into my notebook. So I open up my notebook and I like to start on the table of contents and I'll go down to 2.1 and I'll open it up here. And this is where I'm going to put my information. And you'll see here just to verify 2.1. Point one, point three, And this is the knowledge theories and models of adult learning. And Carl Rogers' work fell under here. So we'll go underneath here. And I will take the information. That's, this is the article that I highlighted. And then letting myself know as a reminder that this is the ATD article on the 10 tips for learner-centered instruction based on the work by Carl Rogers. I may also want to capture that learning aid because it's so great into my notebook for further research. So here's what I'm going to do in order to do that. I'll go back to the ATD page. And then I'm going to scroll down to the article. I'm going to click on it. So this will open it up in a new window. And then I'm going to right click on it and say copy image. Once I do that, I'm going to open my notebook back up. And then I'm going to just merely paste it into my notebook. There it is. So I can go back if I'd like to summarize at this point. I can summarize where it is. I have the organizational information of where I found the article. I have the link if I ever want to cite it and share it in a future article or a future learning or training that I'm delivering. And it's organized because ATD's already done all of the thinking for us. We've got the domains, we've got the capabilities, we have all of the information organized here in our notebook and we can capture this for years to come. If you like what you see here with the CPTD success notebook and do not have enough time to create your own, no worries. I've created one for you. If you would like to purchase it, you can go to tinyurl.com CPTD success Click enter and it'll take you right here to the checkout so you can purchase your own CPTD success notebook. Reach out if you have any questions at all. I'm always here to help. Thanks for your time and attention and bye for now.